um, I went online and I saw the story of this lady, Osinachi, that just died. And the woman in me, the mother in me, the big sister in me, jumped on this call. Thank you. You can hear me. Thank you. And that's what I want us to quickly talk about. Now, I've never met this lady. Thank you, everybody. Good evening. I'm sending love back to you. Thank you so very much. I said I just finished preaching and I checked online and I found the story of this lady that composed Ekweme. You are the living God who that song was a hit that song blessed us and is still blessing us and while i was on nhn's page i saw that she died in an abusive relationship what 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 ladies and gentlemen thank you everybody please know that i'm reading your comments and i'm grateful for all the positive energy you're sending to me thank you i just want to retreat the fact that marriage is not what completes you as a person there may be pastors and imams that will that will disagree but it does not matter i base my life on the bible God is very interested in you. Your marriage relationship and any other relationship is secondary. You are first a human being before you are a wife, before you are a husband, before you are a child, before you are a Christian, before you are anything. You come first. Please, don't confuse religion and spirituality i do not care who told you to stay in an abusive relationship and die there and be praying and be fasting it is folly it is foolishness don't allow anybody make you stay in an abusive relationship please i'm happy if this is true that the man has been arrested we are all waiting eagerly to see him behind the bars yes i said that we are waiting to see him behind the bars all of us are waiting you touch one of us you have touched all of us it is sheer wickedness to abuse a fellow human being that has given you four children, even if she has not given you any child. I'm speaking to you ladies and gentlemen. Close one eye in prayer. Open the other one in being security conscious. Single person. Please, Somebody slapped you while you are dating the person. The person will kill you after marriage. Somebody is abusing you psychologically, emotionally, while you are dating the person. And you still want to go into marriage? Because culture makes you feel that if you are not married, you are not complete. Lie. Blatant lie from hell. Love yourself. You are primary to you. Every other relationship is secondary. Your pastor, your imam, your G.O., your bishop, your founder, your babalawo. In case you have a relationship with one babalawo somewhere. Whoever is a spiritual authority over your life, come secondary. Secondary. Quote me. let anybody tell you that because that person is your pastor you must stay in an abusive relationship the man is beating you and then you just the bible says in proverbs chapter 4 you know that one wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting 
get understanding. It's there in Proverbs 4, 7. Get understanding. They say love is blind. I always tell you that love may be blind, but marriage is the eye opener. Let me analyze a few things and then I'll make one or two of you. I'll let you, you know, share your opinion with me. Number one, as a woman, please be economically empowered. Have your own. Parents, raise your girls to have their own. I have counseled with too many people. And you will hear these women say, there is nothing. I don't have anything. Is the man that pays the school fees. Is the man that has bought me a car. Is the man. That's silly. That is very silly. Do something with your life. I'm a full-time minister of the gospel. And I'm a full-time businesswoman. All of you know that. Same thing with my husband. If you see my husband on the farm, you'll be shocked that he's a bishop. We've been in business before we came into ministry. The Proverbs 31 woman was into real estate. She was into agriculture. She was into design, fabric, this. She considers a field and she buys it. That's what the Bible says. I notice that that is a starting point. Do something with your life. So that, because every human being is a psychologist, so that your life, the totality of your life, will not be dependent on the man or the woman. It is so sad. The mother in me cried today. How can that young lady just die like that because of one useless man? Useless man. And before you know what is happening now, if they release him from prison, he will go and remarry. What about those children? Can anybody ever, ever be like their mother? Don't die before you ask for help. And please, somebody made a comment on my page today, my Instagram page, as a social worker. If somebody confides in you, that lady said, you don't need that person's consent to report. I didn't know that too. Because we'll be saying in church, you know, you confided in me, therefore I cannot say it. Please, go and bundle her out of that relationship. Carry her. I have a home in case you need where to put her. I have a home. I will volunteer. I have a place where you can put her. She can stay there for six months, free, even with the four children. She can stay there. I don't charge no cobble. And if you are doing something with your life, that gives you some level of confidence. So why would you stay in, a, in an abusive relationship if the man is not in charge of everything? You can't rent a house, even if it's one bedroom, because somebody said she was doing something with her life. So what steals your confidence? Any relationship where you are not free is a cult. Get out. God hates divorce. Yes, God hates divorce. But God, does God hate murder? Does God hate murder? That's a food for thought. In case that lady now has parents, who will ever replace her in her parents' life? Do something with your life. Get some money for yourself that is not dependent on how your spouse feels. Times have changed. Times have changed. Don't just sit down there and say, I'm a full-time housewife. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yes, I understand that there are some women that they are full-time housewifery because of their situation. But please, that does not mean that you are inferior to whoever is feeding you. Get out. If a man slaps you, don't stand there and be praying and be binding. Your pastor may not be your counselor. Your pastor may not be a marriage counselor. Your pastor may not be. So don't say, pastor said we should sit down there. If you were the pastor's daughter, would, she, would he have told you to sit there and be praying? Step out into safety first. Then let's talk about whether there can be reconciliation. Even if you will not remarry, if they say you should not divorce, at least they didn't say you should not have a life. So step out. Step out and be in safety. Carry your children, carry your picking. When you step up, people will say, what's going on? Then you'll be able to speak. Don't go into coma before you ask for help. Because you'll not be alive now to be telling us your own side of the story. I just pray that the government will help us take care of that man, quote and unquote. And then please, number two, if you know anything about anyone that is going through 
an abusive relationship, don't keep silent. Be your sister's keeper. Be your brother's keeper. And if you notice that, <laughs> somebody said the, the pastors are beating their own wives too. It's true. I can say with, the, with some pastor's wives, and it will shock you, bishop's wives. It's not even only physical beating, psychological, emotional. So, my criminologist asked her, so why are you still in that relationship? She says, I don't have any money to go and rent. And the man will beat you, the man will call you to tell you to kneel down, raise your hands, and the man will call you goat. And the man will tell you, get up after 15 minutes, go and fix something for me. And when you are done, clean up and meet me in the, in the bedroom. What rubbish is that? Woman, you are not inferior to anybody. Don't think that marriage is all that makes you. Please understand that you are important. With or without marriage, don't die in any abusive relationship. And I want to say this to, well, I'm not a pastor, I'm a pastor's wife. And I've been a pastor's wife for 33 years. Those of you that are privileged to have spiritual authority over people, please stop telling them to stay in abusive relationships and be praying. If they were your blood relation, will you tell them to stay there? How can you as a pastor? Somebody tells you that my husband is beating me. My husband is slapping me. While my wife has brought out a knife. And then you say to the person, stay there, we'll be praying for you. God can never hear that kind of prayer. Please, stop telling people. That is abuse of power. Submission is not subjugation. Submission is not slavery. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 is preceded by verse 21. Submitting one to another. Every aircraft has a pilot and a co-pilot. The fact that you are the head of the relationship does not mean you should kill the body. It doesn't mean you should kill the body in the name of religion. The, nurse say, the, the woman is not submitting. Submission, Bible submission, not demonic submission. Bible submission is strength put under control and you submit one to another. Pastors, please stop this evil. Pastors, wives, please stop this evil. Can you allow your own daughter or your own son to stay in an abusive relationship and tell him or her to be, to be praying? Why you are fasting until he or she dies? Let's stop this rubbish. It is not biblical. It is not biblical. Please, I'm going to invite one or two of you. Please understand that nobody should tell you to stay in any abusive relationship. It does not matter the title. Bishop, assistant bishop, assistant geo. It does not matter the relationship. Don't die before you seek for help. It's not slavery. It is not slavery. It is not slavery. Let's stop this rubbish. It cannot continue. If you're a pastor and you are hearing me, and you can please forward this to your pastor. It is not biblical for you to tell people to stay in an abusive relationship while the man is beating her and slapping her and frustrating her psychologically. You know, another, okay, he's, he's from Kerejim was saying that people should, should leave their marriages. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is any marriage that is not worth the onion, let the parties please step out into safety first before you now begin to take talk about reconciliation. And any man that raises his hand to beat his wife needs psychiatric attention. That is it. Needs a psychiatrist needs to see a psychiatrist you cannot begin to use the bible you too you can read the bible your life is important job chapter 12 verse 3 you are not inferior to anybody not your husband what will now happen to the children that this woman has left move to another house and go and pray there god will hear your prayers there we've lost enough please let's stop this they be telling you, woman, don't give up. Don't give up your marriage. Fight for your marriage. You can fight for your marriage from afar. You can fight from, from, for your marriage from another house. Not in the house of an animal that is beating you and killing you. I'm so sorry to say this. Let that man stay in jail. 
and say, ah, but she, we, we must forgive. He must be born again. Let him be born again and be an evangelist in the prison. That's my take. I'm going to ask some of you. Yes, emotional abuse, psychological abuse, physical abuse. Don't take any. Everything is nonsense. Fight from a distance. Fight from afar. Don't live with an animal. Some people, are, they do not even deserve to live among human beings. Why will you kill your wife? Okay. Let me listen to a few of you. I was so, I was so upset tonight. Some of you just joined. I'm in Zambia. I just finished preaching. I got to my hotel room and I saw that news. It pained me. So let me see who has a comment. You want to join? Send me a request. A few minutes, I should be done. We're saying no to abuse. A lot of you. So let me, I don't know, this first person. I've accepted. Let him be an evangelist in the prison. Yes. There are people there that need to be saved. And he's a coward. Any man that beats his wife or kills his wife is a coward. He's an animal. Let the person go. She has said it all. Funke don't talk calm. She don't talk everything where you need to know. So if you still did there, you see they think calm. Say, hmm, it go better. And now the father of my children. And you don't pull money for my head. If I can't come out now, and who can't they torture me? And if I can't come out now, I can't they only move and can't they they train these children? If I can't come out now, my friends will come they laugh me. If I can't come out now, my mama and my mama are gonna not open door for me my entire house. Okay, if you not come out now, you go die. Oh, <laughs> look on the other way. So if they give excuse, say if you not come out, and wait to go up to your children, and if you not want to come out, and then, and then, still think and say if you die, uncle, if you die, uncle, if you die, uncle, think that one. That one me is supposed to go inside your brain. Funke don't talk the whole thing, which is, that was why I felt put the video, make you listen. Because it's not all about say, person they talk, 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 talk. Person they talk one, 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 one thing. It go me, you get sense. You will they watch this video now. Your, your boyfriend, they, they slap you. Now, small, small slap. Now, let's say now from, now from small, small dance. Now, person say they, and small, small play. Now, person say they enter dance. You don't feel they slap you. You say now because they verse. It you not know, be like that. Go, they cover up for them. Mm. Then the next thing. You can't push you. You, you not be like that. They verse. You know, if you they verse, that's what they do. The next thing, you can't marry you. Then the day we not quick make you food, you go first slap you. You go see money, money. You go make. You go cry. You can't go tell your mama. Your mama will tell you, say, now the sentinel is the third person. Eh, you don't enter, you don't enter. Then you be around. I said they will tell you. And if you get luck, if you get a good relationship with your papa, you can't tell. Like, go tell you, say, mm, my picking, your room not in this house again. Then you can't talk, say, if you still get pastor, we head correct, you can't go meet your pastor. You can't go tell and say, daddy, this is what happened. You go say, okay, call him for me. Maybe you reach out, you can't tell and say, daddy want to see. You go say, ah, you carry matter with the house, go tell pastor. Before you know it, they have to Igbo, Igbi, Igbo, Igbo, Igbo. Another bit, it don't start. But if you get shame, you go follow, you go. You go see the pastor. Pastor, sit talk, can't say una. You go see that. Another day, when the beast don't enter in, and also the beast again when they enter them. Though they use it, it don't make sense if they find trouble. Like food, like say you don't sweep house, like say you don't quick come, like say you don't quick come from work, or you don't quick, you don't wash their clothes, or you know iron na. Oh, eh, what we think you make sense? Even when they're supposed to beat you for, they're not going to beat you for. Now, the way they're not supposed to beat you for, they can't beat you, they can't remind you for the one you felt the way they're not beat you for. They can't beat everything, they can't beat them together. That's why the first target of a given for your head, they'll, they'll punch you like the oh, you know, face the first money, money, tell your like, okay, 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 you know, the apple, your, your face don't sway, don't don't shift. The person go answer to it, the apple, you say, I hey, your mom grand, I grand, you carry me for. Then you can't learn. Instead of for you to learn for your back, you can't go learn for your front, I think. 
me like, me like suck your mouth. No, no cry, come out. So they meet daddy. My husband, he is beating me. Daddy will say, don't worry, it's going to be okay. Don't worry. You know, Jesus Christ said that eh, one man, one wife, stay in it. God will change him. Don't worry. Remember, I said, nah, small, 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 small. Demon, I call the entire Mary body for a content to lead on. And so the demon go to enter the man body. They come be legions. They come pack. They come mini. They come grande as Spanish talk. They come rise. They come fuete. Con strong. Kokoroko. Mm hmm. That's why I talk them. They come strong. For you know what it happen. The man, when you look your eye like this, if you now date together for inside this, when you look your eye like this, you will adjust. You will see and you will fear. Your tension will rise. Well done. Carry go. You know, say, until person they tell you the sweet side, they, they pet you, they enter, make you, they, you know, go get sense. But they tell you, say, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. You go, you go sit there. But you know what, I go clap and for you. Remain there, oh. You remain there. Don't they there. For you know what, they have put the man will dig your grave. You go buy your coffee. You go preserve them. Do you go your you you baby? Do you your baby? Do you also have to put you for that coffin? Bury you, cover around with sand. Come cry, one cry. Me we don't tell, we don't tell, we don't tell, we don't tell, we don't tell. The kind of thought say, oh guy, don't do, no cry again. We not say you love your wife. You go say one call the baby they take care of this children now. Hey, see the children where they leave me. Oh, but you know what they happen. One small girl come come, uncle. Do you want me to wash your clothes for you? You can say, no, I will do it myself. We say, don't worry, Uncle, I can help you. Are you sure? You say, yes, the girl can go. Go wash clothes. And now they go, Uncle, I just cook food for you. Should I bring it for you? You can say, okay, you can come bring food. Mm, this food is very sweet. Mm, what do you have to cook? You say, it's my mommy that taught me how to cook. Oh, very good. Please, can you come to my house and cook for me? All right, Uncle. And the girl can come. The next day, the girl still come again. You can't wash your pants. You no, know, say now nah, it didn't fail. You do all that things before. Uncle, bring your clothes. Let me wash. You can't add your pants joint. You can't wash your pants. You go wash the under. Do you can't wear the pants. You say, ah, my wife, not they wash my pants like this. She she wash the under. Say it clean. Before you know it, they happen. The next thing you go to the room and you get all enter. Hey, sorry, sir. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, the next thing you say, I'm just tired. The man will come to cry. They will come to console him. You can't console and you say, I'm missing my wife. You don't worry, Uncle, I'm here. For you know what they happen. Small, 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 small. The man can't touch, huh? can't touch, can't touch, can't touch. The next day, they happen. <laughs> you don't enter the seventh heaven. We are the wife day. The wife day, the seventh heir. My people, I don't want to not forget to subscribe for this channel. I want to hit that notification bell. Well, we've made a so gentle so rest and peace. That's the only thing we can say. But one thing is sure, if you're in an abusive relationship, please walk out from it. I'll see you in my next video. Cheers. Bye.